This vehicle has been provided for Corey Fulham Car Guide to Film by Matheson Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Matheson, Ontario. As you can see, at Matheson Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, they have a good selection of new Chrysler Jeep and Dodge vehicles and a good selection of Ram trucks. To check out their full inventory, feel free to stop by at MathisonChrysler.com. For additional information about Matheson Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, check out the description below where you'll find information such as their address and their telephone number. What's up guys, Corey Fulham, your car guy here. Today I've got a video for you of this 2022 Ram 2500 Laramie. This has got the bright white clear coat exterior with black leather interior and as well as a 6.7 liter inline six Cummins turbo diesel engine. And as you can see, this particular Ram 2500 has never been sold yet. And this one's got the gooseneck and fifth wheel trailer prep package, which I'll talk about a little bit more later in the video and including the outlets too. So the tire sizes on the Ram 2500 are actually wearing a LT285 60R20 Firestone tires. I believe they're all terrain tires right there. And as you can see, this particular Ram 2500 does have remote start. I'm gonna show that right now. So make sure the vehicle is locked over here and then we'll just press this button twice. Simple as that. Now the Ram 2500 equipped with the Cummins turbo diesel engine does come equipped with a smart key system by just keeping the key fob in your pocket. I'd utilize the buttons on the door handles and you'll be able to lock and unlock the vehicle from here. So to lock, just tap this button once and then have to wait in a second, grab behind the handle right over here and it automatically locks the vehicle. So the Ram 2500 Laramie does have push button start low key over here. If you want to start the vehicle, all you have to do is to make sure you have the key fob within the interior or the key fob is in your pocket. So all you have to do is to simply apply your foot to the brake and push the push button ignition to start right here. So we'll close the door. Now, once you're inside the 2022 Ram 2500 Laramie Crew Cab, you get a nice four spoke leather wrapped steering wheel over here. Nice and simple. So the Ram 2500 Laramie does have two different transmission choices available for 2022. One is the eight speed automatic and this particular six speed automatic gearbox with manual shiftability over here with plus and minus buttons on the steering wheel over here. If you want to shift it manually, you press and hold this button to disengage the manual shiftability. When you put the vehicle in reverse, your backup camera appears with guidance lines as well. And down below, you got your trailer height and as well as your exhaust brake over here, your engine brake. Press it again, automatic engine brake on, and then press it once more to turn the exhaust brake off. And you also got tow haul mode that raises the shift points for better performance while towing. And your parking sensors front and rear over here. Two USB ports one on each side there. There's actually four, two on that side and two on that side there. An auxiliary audio input jack. And you push that. More cubby storage there, right over here. Coffee holders. And then you also get a nice little 115 uh, volt AC power outlet, 400 watts, right there. And if we open this up, we get another USB port over here for USB charging. And we open this up right there. More storage. And then I put this back. Max fill right there. And I'll put this back down. So this particular Ram 2500 Laramie does have a touch screen along with Sirius XM satellite radio, AM FM radio, Bluetooth streaming, and navigation over here. And also on the touch screen, you can just go to uh, navigation over here. And you can see the, you can see where you're going right there. And you also got comfort over here, climate controls. This one does not have some sort of a climate controls with the buttons where you can control it. You can actually control it right from the touch screen there. 
It does have heated and cool seats over here and a heated steering wheel. AC is ice cold over here. You can just turn up the blower fan over here. Yeah, I can feel something going on over there. It's actually really cool to see. And if you ever want to turn it off, you just press off right there and it turns off the uh, blower fan and the climate controls too. And then you got phone over here, Bluetooth phone. And then you got vehicle right there and it does have bed lowering mode, mirror dimmer, and as well as a rear view camera, which you can see all the different cameras right there. And we just press over here to exit over here. And then we got apps over here. You can see all the different apps over here. We got USB, Sirius XM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, device manager over here. And then we got this one. And then we got off-road pages, which I'll show right now. And you can see the steering angle over here, transfer case. And of course you got your transfer case down below, which switches into four wheel drive, heavy duty style. And then we switch that to four wheel drive. You can see right now, as you can see, it's in the four wheel drive mode. Disengage the four wheel drive like that. It's actually kind of cool. Accessory gauges, we got coolant temperature, oil temperature and oil pressure, transmission temperature, as well as battery voltage. And if we go over here, pitch and roll, right over here. And we'll just go back to uh, vehicle over here. Change your settings over here. Change the date and time option over here. You can just pair a phone over here. Display, whatever you like. So on the home page, you can see what's playing over here. Sirius XM satellite radio, and you can see the navigation right there. We'll go back to media right there. And the climate controls are actually located over here, those buttons over here. Sorry about that, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> there it is. You can actually control it with the buttons or the touch screen there. Front and rear defrost over here, AC, temperature controls, front and passenger, and your traction off button, which you can turn on and off if you like with a touch of a button. Screen off button over here. Just tap it to turn the screen off. It says touch the screen to turn on. Or you can just tap it with the button. Off, on. So now we'll show the driver information screen controls over here. I'm gonna scroll down. You got the digital speed over here, digital speedometer. You got vehicle info, tire pressure, coolant temperature, transmission temperature, oil pressure, boost pressure over here, diesel filter over here, and you got oil life right over here, fuel filter life right there, battery voltage, exhaust brake, and you got gauges over here, engine hours, you name it. And then you got off-road, drivetrain, pitch and roll, fuel economy over here, trip info, trailer tow, distance traveled, um, audio, you can see what's playing right there, messages, and screen setup, you name it. And then you also got your DEF gauge over here, which means diesel exhaust fluid right there. Cruise control buttons are located over here, selected by the buttons. Hands-free telephone controls are located over here. Voice commands, I'm gonna show that right now. Help. All right, what can I help you with? I can help with navigation, phone, send a text, music, radio, climate. Cancel. Canceled. It's actually kind of cool. All right, so anyways, we're gonna go ahead and flip on the automatic headlights and check that out as well. And we'll switch on the fog lights and hazards. Automatic driver's side window right there. And we'll go check out the exterior, shall we? And also the vehicle will actually sound the horn a few times. It'll let you know if the proximity key fob has left the vehicle's interior. So now let's go pop the front and check out that motor. 
Now the Ram 2500 has two different engine choices available for 2022. One is the standard gasoline 6.4 liter Hemi V8 and this particular 6.7 liter inline six Cummins turbo diesel engine producing 370 horsepower at 2800 RPM and 850 foot pounds of torque at 1700 RPM. Actually kind of cool. Okay. So we'll go shut it down. And we'll go check out the rest of the vehicle. Cup holders over here. They come down like so. And you got extra cup holders over here. And that's and you got your uh, rear vents over here and a nice little cubby storage over here and four usb ports two on each side and two on each side right there and another 115 volt ac power outlet uh, 400 watts maximum right there and you also got another uh, coffee holders right there this truck is pretty nice now this particular Ram 2500 equipped with the Laramie package does have a power tailgate. All you have to do to open it is to press this button over here twice and it will open just like that. It does have a uh, gooseneck and fifth wheel trailer prep package right over here. And outlets over here to connect the trailer. Same thing over here in 115 volt AC power outlet over here on the rear as well 400 watts maximum over here it's actually kind of cool to see anyways we'll just close it up and you got another little connectors over here for connecting a conventional trailer over here we'll go check out the passenger over here you got doom lights on top over here this truck does not have a sunroof over here it does have a power rear sliding window over here in the rear. Assist buttons and emergency buttons, doom lights, and a power tailgate button over here which you can open from the inside. This one does have two glove boxes over here. It does have uh, locking nuts over here, locking nut kit. Owner's manual with other important safety information right over here. As you can see. And you connect safety information right there and you push that another glove box will open just like that and close it just like that well everyone I hope you enjoy my review on the 2022 Ram 2500 Laramie Cummins turbo diesel be sure to stay tuned next time for more videos just like this. And remember, as always, like, subscribe, favorite, and don't forget to check out my other videos. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's always a lot more where it came from. Take care, guys.